Hey yo, what is good YouTube and welcome back to another haircut tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be doing the wave cut. We're going to do a number one open against, I mean with the grain, which is really like a one and a half. So we're going to go ahead and start now by cutting the hair with the grain, making sure to follow the way that the hair grows and the way that the client brushes their hair. If you all look at the way that I'm cutting the hair, I'm not directly cutting it straight down. I have the clipper turned a little bit and I'm moving with the with the way that the hair grows. That's because if you go just straight down and then you're not following the way the hair grows, it can lead to unevenness in the haircut. So make sure that you're following the way that the hair grows. So this client, he has a cowlick in the front area of his hairline towards uh, the left hand side if we're, if we're watching it from the video. Towards his left hand side, he has a cowlick. So you have to be careful when cutting those clients. So what I personally do is, I really try to not go over it with the guard. I like to freehand over that or use shears because it's easier to control it. And you can kind of manipulate it to look like it's fuller than what it really is if you do it right. Alright, so right now I'm starting off with my first guideline. This is really like a medium taper, but uh, the first guide, like the second guideline, the number one is really my biggest guideline throughout this whole taper. So I kind of put this bottom guideline very low, and then I make the first guideline really like an inch. So, um, so yeah, right now I'm just, you know, just kind of, this is how you speed up your time. If you already got your trimmers out, you go ahead and do the lineup with the trimmers, and then you just... You don't have to come back and do it, you know what I'm saying? So you're saving yourself some time. But I set my first guideline right above, like right above the ear. So now I'm coming in with my second line. And this right here, this is the lever fully open. And I'm going to go ahead and fade it out. So right, my steps, I'm going from lever open to lever halfway to lever only close. That's because I wanted to get it as close. I want to fade out that bottom line as close as the trimmer got it. It probably will not. I probably will have to come back with the trimmer to get that bottom line out. But that's the steps I take. Now I'm coming in with my one, one and a half guard. Uh, and I'm coming in fully closed. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I know the length I cut it at is a number one guard fully open. So number one guard, I mean number one and a half guard closed will take out that line. And now I'm going with my number one guard fully open. And I'm just going up and flicking out right underneath where I put that one and a half guard at. And make sure you kind of hit behind the ear. Don't fade it, but just take it down so the fade can look like it's blending right into the, the hair around that area. That's why you see me pulling down the ear a lot and fading around it. Because I don't want, I don't want it just to look like a piece of bulk. You know what I'm saying? I don't want just the fade to be right at the temple and then there's no blend into the next part of the fade. So you got to make make everything kind of blend. So right now I'm going in with my zero guard and, you know, just going up, flicking out, doing some clipper work, maximizing my time. Now I went back with my uh, lever all the way open. Sorry about the angle if my hands is in the way. I'll tell y'all what I'm, what I'm doing. 
Hey, right now I'm just using a, I was just using a raking technique right there. But it's basically faded now. Once you add a line up to it, it'll definitely be sharp. And it will expose some more dark spots to me. But right now it looks like it's pretty good, like faded pretty well. And I'm going to do the same exact steps. So I'm not going to talk on this side, but it's the same exact steps as the other side. And as it refers to the neck taper, I'm literally doing the same thing, but I'm not taking the first guideline because he has a sensitive neck area. Because if I take it too close, he will get razor bumps. So I don't want to take it too close. But now I'm just doing the same exact fading technique. It's the same thing, just different areas of the head. And don't get scared from the different areas of the head. Just make sure you follow on your steps. And once you leave the steps, that's when you probably will mess up. So make sure that you're staying true to your steps. And yes, you can do minor adjustments like clip over comb and stuff like that for different areas of the head that's not shaped the same. But other than that, you're cutting the same exact way. So you all already know my style when it comes to doing a lineup. I like to start in the middle of the head, work to my right side, which is the client's left side, and then I like to come back to the middle and then go to the left side. So basically I like to do one side fully and then I like to come to the other side and mimic exactly what I did on the other side. So really just doing a lineup, just really like you have to take your time. You have to be invested in what you're doing, focus into what you're doing because that's the most important part of the haircut. If the lining is messed up and the fade is good, the clients don't care about the fade. If your lining is good, that's all the clients care about. So make sure you're taking your time, make sure you prep the hairline because you're not going to get a good natural sharp line if you don't prep. So make sure you're always prepping the hairline, take your time and just do your thing. Don't rush nothing. Use your mirror as your guide and just do your thing, man. You got this.
right about here I really don't have to explain what I'm doing anymore but uh, just follow the video you know what I'm saying I hope you all really enjoyed the video it's a solid haircut if you work if you work in a barbershop this is probably a haircut you'll do all the time so yeah hope you all enjoyed it I'm going to give them some razor work, stuff like that. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I'm at 496 subscribers. I really want to hit 500. So please help me hit 500. And if you're a loyal subscriber, I really appreciate you all. And it means the world to me. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. DM me if you have any questions. I will respond to you. Uh, comment if you have any questions. I will answer you also. So yeah, y'all have a good one. Hope you all staying safe and enjoy. Peace. Hey, 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 hey,